Hundreds of pro-democracy protesters now flooding Hong Kong International Airport for a three-day occupation. Demonstrations there entering the 10th week. Earlier today, the chief executive of Hong Kong, Carrie Lam, spoke about the violent protests. Watch. I don't think we should just sort of make concessions in order to silence um, the, the violent protesters. We should do what is right for Hong Kong. And at this moment, what is right for Hong Kong, as we have heard all our 33 business representatives told us, is to stop the violence and to say no to the chaotic situation that Hong Kong has experienced in the last uh, few weeks. Joining me now is Heritage Foundation's Olivia Enos. Great to see you, Olivia. Great to see you. Okay, this could get very dangerous, Olivia. Reports are coming in that Beijing is actually reportedly sending its own military and police officials to secretly mingle in and join in with the Hong Kong police forces. This could get dangerous. Mm. Hong Kong protests continue, and I think that they're a symptom of a broader problem, which is that the feedback loop between citizens and governments has been, and the government of Hong Kong has been severed. And I think it's revealing this, this fact that undergirding this entire protest is a fear by Hong Kongers that they're going to have to sacrifice their fundamental freedoms at the doorstep of Beijing, maybe even before the 2047 handover. And so I think overall, Hong Kongers are looking toward some sort of reform that's possible and in most cases pursuing peaceful means to try to achieve that. You know, I want to switch gears. Reports coming in that the U.S. is asking South Korea to send troops to join an American-led maritime force to protect shipping in the Strait of Hormuz off of Iran. Why South Korea? South Korea is an ally of the United States, and allies have shared interests very naturally. But beyond that shared interest as allies, 35% um, of sea-based oil trade actually passes through the Strait of Hormuz. That's 20% of traded oil in the entire world. The main markets that those are heading towards are actually in Asia. And so not only is it in South Korea's interest in order to shore up its ally uh, and reassure its ally, the U.S., but it's also in its own economic interest to join in. Olivia Enos at the Heritage Foundation, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having We're me. We're also following